Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Alicia and today I'm talking my November TBR. So, what shall I be reading? A lot of different things. <laughs> Let's talk about them. I have quite a few books that I want to get to this month, but I do have some mandatory reads, so let's see what they are. The first one is going to be for the Reading by Candlelight book club. Again, I host this with Katie from Kit Cats Can Read and Sam over at Yarn Reader. I will have links to their channel in the description, but for November we will be reading The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. All I know from this one is that it is a small town meets Gilmore Girls, so I'm excited to read this and see if it fits that description. The next one is also for book club. Sam over at Yarn Reader hosts the So Mote It Be book club, kind of like a witchy read type thing. I love it. And for the month of November, we will be reading Children of Blood and Bone. I'm sorry, I'm not going to try to butcher that name, but that is the author. This one seems to be a chunky read, so I hope that it is a good one, because that is pretty big. I think I'll like it either way. Next, I always try to do some sort of nonfiction, and for this month, the Disney and Dolly uh, nonfiction was picked from my list of nonfictions to read. These were Architectures of Imagination, or Architects of Imagination, excuse me. I got this back when they did a Dolly and Disney exhibition. Exhibition? Well, they had a thing on Disney and Dolly at the Dolly Museum over in St. Pete. So I bought this when I was there, and now I'm interested to see how, um, how it worked out for them. I thought the exhibit was pretty good though. Um, next is a rom-com that I have chosen and this month it is The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. I have read only one other book by her so far so I'm interested to see how this one plays out. We'll see if she becomes an autobi author or just a hit or miss type author. I've had a couple of those. The next book on my mandatory list is a series book. As I try to finish book series, I try to include one each month. So this month I will be reading Twisted Lies by Anna Huang. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. If not, let me know in the comments. But this is the last book in the Twisted Love series. I already have it tabbed so that I can read it within a five day period it looks like. This one is about Christian and Stella's story so I'm excited. Each book was about a different girl and their love interests. This one is Christian and Stella. I'm excited to see where they go. And I always try to include a graphic novel or manga, whichever one I have more of. I am currently reading the Death Note, so we're going to continue with Death Note Volume 5. I'm enjoying this one, and so I'm interested to see where it goes. Now, the next books, these are all like, if my mandatory reads get done, then I read these books. So, of course, I know this one will be read pretty easily, but I have Lore Olympus and this is volume 7. I absolutely love this series and I love seeing all the different colorful pages. It's the color for me. Plus, I love Greek mythology, so this is right up my alley. That will most likely get read in a day, provided that I'm not too distracted. <laughs> The next two books are in part of a series. I don't remember which one goes first, but we have Dead in the Family and Dead and Gone by Charlene Harris. These, I believe, are the 9th and 10th or 8th and 9th. I don't remember. I want to say it's 9 and 10. But I'm trying to finish out this series, and these are the next two books. 
very different color covers. Um, another chunky book that I hope to get to um, is Gods and Monsters by Shelby McCurin. This will finish out the Serpent and Dove series. This is the only one I haven't read and for whatever reason I keep putting it off. So this month hopefully I can get to this one because it is a chunky book and it looks like I've had I have it tabbed to finish in two days. So two day reading method. I could possibly do it but that would that would be 300 pages. 307 is the halfway point because it's 612 pages long. Yikes. Hopefully I can find an audiobook for it. <laughs> the next one on this list for extras is Phantom Eyes. This is also the last and final book in the Witch Eyes series. So I would like to finish this one. I know this one I have looked and it does not have a audiobook. So I will be physically reading that one to finish out the series. Are we sensing a pattern here? I'm trying to finish a series on my bookshelves. <laughs> The next one, I guess you can consider it a non-fiction, but I've also been on a decluttering and organizing kick, and this one is a complete book of home organization. While I don't think that I would go for the rainbow effect, as you can tell, I haven't really, um, I'd like to see where it would, like what it says to do in terms of organizing, and see if I can implement any of those in my house, or if I think it's not for me. Um, but this is the last book of my TBR, so hopefully, it is an extra, so hopefully I will finish the mandatory reads rather quickly, and then I can get to some of my extra. Well, that is all for me in this video, guys. If you liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe as it helps the channel grow, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!